What is up, everybody? It's your guy, Michael Joseph. I wanted to drop another video, so guess what? I'm doing it. I'm actually gonna do it. This one's juicy, okay? I want this to be a resource for all you guys that want to wear hair or haven't quite figured out, haven't quite navigated through which products to use. Okay, I want this to be cut and dry. My recommendation from almost a year's worth of wearing and answering this question both generally and specifically for a lot of people. So this comes after a lot of just saying the same things over and over and so I wanna save myself some time, save yourself some questions and just set you on a path to uh, to wearing hair and, and specifically with hair systems, okay? So first and foremost, if you like this video, make sure to thumbs up it, okay? YouTube sees that as a, a good sign that maybe this video, maybe this content is useful for other guys like yourself, okay? So it's very important you might be helping another guy into this journey of wearing hair systems. Number two, if you like this guy and you want more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell, that little notification bell. It allows YouTube to say, oh, you want more? And it'll send you a little ping on your phone or your device of choice that lets you know I uploaded another piece of information. If you have questions, okay, if you have anything at all, make sure to drop it below. I respond to 100% of all comments. I think it's really important to start that kind of dialogue and have a real community here. I'm not gonna leave you high and dry. Here's something that's really interesting, okay? There are also in the description, there's some links and some discount codes for your first or your next hair system. I wanna make sure that if you're making this decision that you can have, there's no barrier to entry. I know I've heard from a lot of guys, hey, I gotta save up to make this thing happen. Save up to make this thing happen. Guys, wearing hair has been the coolest, best experience of my life. And you hear this consistently through Anybody that's, wear, that's wearing hair these days, uh, they love it. It can be life-changing. It has been for me. So I wanna make it simple for you. I put those codes and those links in the description to help you save some dollars. <sighs> now, this unit right here, and this, this kind of helps launch me into number one. I didn't style, I didn't really do much today. It's a work day and uh, it's a Monday and I'm just kind of, this is what it looks like on a daily basis, guys. I brush it a little bit and this is it, okay? I think it looks pretty dang good. Pretty good. So number one, for hair systems, I'm going to recommend a full poly base. Ooh, you heard me right. Now, not just any poly base, okay? 0 0.03 millimeter thinness. Notice I didn't say thickness. Uh, 0 0.03 is very durable, but thin enough where it disappears into your hairline, okay? Uh, th thick enough to be durable enough for anything that you can throw at it. That's skydiving, which I've done. That's cliff diving, which I've done. That's working out a lot, which I've done. Of course, showering, you know, removing and attaching, let's say every one to two weeks. Uh, it's going to hold up really, really well for you. Now, going thicker than that, you you risk a, you know, an exposed hairline. If you wear something, you know, a style like this where you could potentially see the hairline, um, you know, because it's a little bit taller, right? And, and the adhesive and just everyday grime and, and dust and dirt gets stuck to it, right? Just pretty simple. And then it becomes a very noticeable front hairline. Anything thinner than this, now you're running the risk of not having as much durability. That's just it. Now, you might have a very specific situation where you need a lace or you need something else, but generally speaking for 94% of you, I'm going to recommend at least either starting or ending here with a full poly unit. This leads me to point number two, which adhesive to use. Now all you need is one type of adhesive. You don't need a this thing plus tape plus that thing plus this thing. You just need one product. And that product for me, and the one that I generally, again, generally speaking, will recommend is the Walker Tape Ultra Hold. For me, and generally speaking, it holds up better than, let's say, a white glue like um, like Ghost Bond. Ghost Bond's a great product. That company's been around for a very long time. They know what they're doing. But I would suggest for me, for most body composition, body oil, body you know chemistry, um, it doesn't hold nearly as long or as tough as an ultra hold. Now I can just attach the front and the back and the sides and I'm good. 
cleanup is quicker. I'm using less product, meaning saving dollars, saving time. If you're using one base type, like a full poly, you can then use one adhesive type, which I would recommend the Ultra Hold, okay? Third is a scalp protectant. For me, it's another walker. It's another walker uh, situation here. Walker Tape's uh, Max Hold Sport is uh, my go-to. It's easy, it comes with a little brush as well, and it's easy enough to brush on, dries very quickly, and it's said to not need the same 24-hour curing period as it as you would with any other, or most other scalp protectants. And for those that don't use a scalp protectant, the reason why you use this is because you're putting adhesive otherwise right on your skin. Now, for some of us with sensitive skin, that's not such a great thing. Some of us that also sweat, some of us that are being a little bit more active, also not such a great thing because that now that sweat comes right in contact with the adhesive. When you put a scalp protectant on, it's actually sealing up those pores. Uh, you'll still sweat, but it's not now coming right in direct contact with the adhesive. You don't have sweat between the adhesive and your skin. As far as removers, as far as adhesive removers, Curtis over at MHE, My Hair Experience, if you haven't seen his videos, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what you're doing. What rock do you live under? The MHE product, is better than your traditional C22. I just gotta say it. C22 is great, right? It's a good general adhesive remover. You know, that's that's you know your typical product. But with MHE's product, I don't know what the difference is, I don't know the chemical difference, but I see a difference. If if this were loose and I was pulling it and it's tough, I spritz it on and I can immediately feel the release. Spritz it on and I, I'm it's it's amazing. You spritz it on your unit, let it sit, maybe you, you clean up your head a little bit, and the adhesive is super, super then easy to remove. MHE, I gotta hand it to you. Um, that is the best. In fact, I've got some being delivered today from MHE. It's the best remover I have used. Hats off, hairs off to Curtis and the team over at MHE. If you see other videos and other people asking questions about where do I even start with this, take this little link, you know, copy and paste it from wherever it is on here and drop it as a response. I want this to be a go-to piece of information that can help a lot of guys at least get started or at least see what's happening and what most guys are choosing to at least start this path. Okay, for me, I started with a full poly. I'm glad I did. I did months and months of research, made the most sense for me. And guess what? I knew that was the best for me and I still ventured out into other models, French lace tops, French lace front hairlines, you know, some sort of combination thereof. And I love the UTS model from Lord Hair. It is my absolute favorite. Okay, I'm gonna continue going that, down that route. Now I know that is what works for me. So that's what I've got for you. If you have any questions, any needs whatsoever, drop them below. Um, if you have your own tips and tricks, any other recommendations, make sure to drop them below, but also give some context as to why you're saying, you know, wh whatever your recommendation is. Give us something to go off of here. Uh, so that we can make some decisions on on getting into hair. Uh, at the end of the day, that's my goal is to help you understand and and you know be able to make the decision uh, effectively to change your life potentially. That's what I've got for you. If you like more, subscribe. If you like this video, like it. That's all I got for you. That's all I got for you. <sighs> this was fun. We should do this again. I like you guys. Hopefully you like me. And, and we can continue to do this together. But again, this is Michael Joseph. I'm signing out for now. And remember, it's always a good day to have a good hair day. Okay, you take care. Talk to you soon.